Hello and welcome. I'm the Restless Kaiser. I'm James Workshop. But together we are Modeling for a Monday! Uh, we have got Warhammer Age of Sigma introductory set. This is part of a series of three videos we're doing. There's an introductory set, there's an intermediate set, and there's a pro set. James has got a blade. He's hopefully not going to cut himself. I did not cut myself. You did an excellent, excellent. So what comes in the box before you open it, James? Right, so we've got... Contents. Mm, contents. 25 Citadel miniatures. Now that is a much higher number than you normally get in It is. Sense. I think the previous one was like eight. Do you want to know why? 20 clan rats. Clan rats, that's why. <laughs> Five yeah. liberators, a 48 page handbook, starter brush and six paints. That actually kind of surprised me. Yes. Six dice, a range ruler and a playing mat. So they introduced this introductory set a little while back, but they've not done it. Like, several years ago, you ran a store, mm -hmm. and you could buy some paints and maybe get a miniature or three a miniatures couple, in. Yeah. <laughs> right. I think as the price point has, has moved up, mm -hmm. they've needed to put something below the kind of small starter gotcha. set. Right. And they've created this kind of introductory package. So this is not for existing players mm -hmm. of any description, really. This is a I've never played Warhammer, I'm brand new to the right. hobby. It's a combination of those two boxes I'm expecting into one fantastic Absolutely, box. absolutely. Right. So, we are first confronted with the birthday card. We sure are. Let's open the birthday card. Which is barcoded. It is. Sweet. That is quite fun. These envelopes are kind of a new thing for me. Yeah. Right, so we've got big old paper mat. Paper play mats. So this is the size of Kill Team or Boarding Action. Yeah. This is... The size of your living room table. Yeah. Um, about three by two, slightly yeah. less. Look, it's a paper play mat, but it's quite it's quite nice. It's some quite yeah for a paper side. play mat. It's a decent one. It's double sided. It's got these five objects. Now we understand that that is how you play a version of the game called Spearhead. Yeah. Um, I think all introductory sets, like two player start sets, to get you on the system, should have a play mat. They should because I think if you're brand new in the hobby. You don't have some. You've got, you're going to do it on your kitchen table. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, best of luck. You might have a brown bed sheet you're going to use. <laughs> Paper play mat is a huge upgrade for a total beginner. Definitely. Handbook, not a rule book, which is Handbook. good because a rule book is very complicated and long. It's not going to have the full rules. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't need it. Bit of how to paint, bit of how to build, bit of how to play, which is all the yes. things that you want. And it, so I think it's got yes. So it's got some. It, it's not other rules so much as it takes you through a few parts of the turn mm -hmm. to get you started. Because like this is for absolute beginners. Mm -hmm. And in that respect, it literally tells you what they <laughs> roll. Yeah. They did this with the Warcry set, which had the vampire counts in, mm -hmm. where I had these like, this is what you rolled and this is what it meant. I found that really quite dull to follow. Yeah. Well, I mean, then you get to the end here, and it actually gives you a full-on battle to play as well, though. So with, with your figures, once you've once you've got past that initial part, yeah, you've got where to set up your models, and then even some challenges. Well, there you go, challenge modes. Cool, right? And then advertising. So in terms of that, you get your build, you get your paint, you get your play. Yeah. It's got everything you need. I think Beautiful. that that is a cracker. Equally as important. Some right. dice, and and again, they don't come in plastic baggies like they other don't. people. They come in little. Uh, what did you call these? Are there only four? Surely there's six. <coughs> there X, six is the right number. <laughs> what did I call these? What? Blister packs. <laughs> no. Wow. That's a roll. That is quite the roll. That roll wasn't in the book. You're going to need to do that again until you get the one that's in the book. Ah, uh, these dice seem to be rolling well. I might keep these. Dice. They seem a bit pro. It's just they seem to be what I were. There's a rubber mat under oh, here. There's there a neoprene mat. Neoprene mats always increase the number of dice that roll well. Um, there's some weight to them. They're not cracker dice. They're not. No, no. They're they're. If they're you've standard. seen games dice before, they're good dice. See, I don't roll as well as you. No, for the size. No. That's All right. right. Game um, You absolutely are going to need some dice. Definitely. We got sprues, baby. <laughs> we got sprues. Let's talk about the sprues. Cool. That's what the young people are here for. Bases. Bases. These are. Again, for the push fit ones, they've got holes in. Mm -hmm. uh, they're, they're proprietary so. because the feet have got lugs. Right, Which what have we got here? So you have the Stormcast Eternals and I have the Clan Rats. That's probably the wrong way around. That's definitely the wrong way. <laughs> let's, let's do a swap seat. Let's do a swap seat. Cool. All right. So 
These are different from the ones that I put together already. Yes. So what we we've had a little bit of a look at these and a bit mm. of a thing. We think these are basically the same sprues that came in the launch box, but but with the options removed to yeah. keep it simple. So, so my Stormcast can have double hammers and a guy with, with a two-handed hammer. Whereas all these guys are shielded. This is all shields. No options except shields. Which, you know, it, it's pretty good for somebody who's starting. It's, yeah. It's minimizing the possibility of you going wrong. <laughs> and when we, we looked at these mm -hmm. compared to the ones I've got, is there's one standard bearer on here rather than two. Yes. Um, so again, that is a unit of 20 clan rats. It's not two units of 10 clan rats that you can build as a unit of 20 clan rats. Oh, I see. Yes, it, it is, is one, a, unit, of one unit of 20 clan rats. Unit of 20 clan and rats this is one is what unit of is. five liberators with shields. Yeah. yeah, yeah, absolutely. But I think that's again, it, it's interesting because for beginners, that keeps it simple. Definitely. Those instructions with these, if you've not used these before, made these push fit miniatures, they're usually two parts, two halves of the same miniature. You press together. Mm -hmm. Bingo. That's Sometimes they're in three parts. Yeah. The Stormcast, the bigger ones are more involved. But again, it's like body... Head, torso, torso, arm, arm, done. Yeah. There's <laughs> yeah. often two legs. Um, they are push fit miniatures. If you're new to this, look, if you're happy to just push the miniatures together and play with them, that's absolutely <laughs> fine. You go do that and you enjoy that. And as a kid, I definitely did that. 100%. <laughs> definitely enjoyed that. As, a, as an adult who's a bit more into modeling and gaming, mm -hmm. I get frustrated by those gaps. There are solutions to that, which is basically just cut the pins off and glue them. Yeah. Is my preferred method. I think you chamfer them down a bit. Uh, no, I leave the pins in the cover and then glue. And then saturate, the space, saturate the space with glue. Yeah. If, a, if a gap appears. Yeah. yeah. It's fine. A cap, there can be issues, because what I would say with these is once you put it in, it's an incredibly tight fit. Mm. You probably can't get it out, it, especially because yeah, you've got a happens. vacuum pocket behind that pin. It happens. You have to fight against everything that I, you know, which is normally you, put, you dry fit everything. Like you put the model together and uh, make sure that everything's got no gaps and it's smooth and everything. Yes, but with this, you can't do that. You can't do that. Also, there's normally not any gaps. <laughs> no, no, there shouldn't be gaps. There shouldn't um, be. So, you know, that, that's kind of, but that's our tip around the push fit miniatures. I prefer the, mm -hmm. you saturate the holes with glue. Yes. If they appear, the seams, I cut the pins off and glue them. But only do that if that, if the, if that bothers you. Yeah, you yeah. Know? We're not if, saying you need, you need to do that. If it's just you and your mate, or you and a, whoever and, it is that you're playing this, with rocking, then just yeah. go for it. Just clip and them you off. Know, compared and to what we had to, as beginning, getting into Warhammer yeah. and stuff, this is so much, so much quicker to get something decent onto the table, mm -hmm. and I really like mm -hmm. that. Uh, the models themselves then, uh, you can see we've we've built some of these already. I'm very happy. I mean, obviously, because we're working on them, mine are primed. Yours are a bit further mm. along. Nice models. Yeah. Very nice. But there's more in the box yet. There is. More aimed at the hobby. We got paints and a brush. Paints and a brush and a little a little cardboard paint holder. <laughs> um, which means that they're not rattling around loose in the box. Is I think all that's doing. That is, yeah, yeah. You know, that, that's I, I'm not What paints do we get? We get there you go. Let, you me, let me do it. You it's got it. to be Retributor Gold. Retributor Armour. That's for your Liberators. That's for your Liberators. we got some blue. Ha Cantor Blue. Cantor Blue. We've got Lead Belcher. For, that is for a everyone. universal metal colour. That's color. for everyone. Rakarth Flesh for your rats. Corn Red for your everyone. And Steel Legion Drab for your rats. So right. we've got a little bit Brand. of rats, we've got a little bit of everyone, and we've got a little bit of definitely Stormcast. Definitely, definitely Stormcast. Yeah, nice. Six paints. All right, look. Again, you, what you need to remember with this, I, I would suggest, if you're an existing player, you're looking at six paints and that brush and thinking, and, and to speak of this brush, this is not a great brush. It's not, no. <laughs> I am, I am never going to use this brush. <laughs> if I'm going to put this brush in the bin, because it's a bad brush. But if you're a rookie, you're going to wreck your first yep. 10 brushes. It's a great brush for bad it painting. It is a great brush <laughs> to learn to paint with, and when this brush is failing you, mm -hmm. you need a new one. I would say on brushes in general, we I think we make a mistake as gamers in that we treat them as like capital items. Mm. And what, right, so I started buying cheap brushes and treating them as disposable mm. items, like razors. Mm -hmm. You can have a good razor that you replace the blade, yeah. or you can buy cheap razors and just bin them all the yeah. time, and you yeah. always got a brand new one. Um, so I tend to buy sort of like, medium quality, low quality artist brushes, mm -hmm. 
in scale and throw them away rather than trying to reshape them all the time. Right, okay. I am the exact opposite to you, sir. You have... I get high quality brushes, brush soap, remold them, clean them all the I've time. I've gone through all that with the brush soap yeah. and everything, from washing up liquids to buying the brush soap. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. And then I realized I could just buy a new brush for four yeah, quid. That's fair. I like my brushes. They're like yeah. friends. <laughs> yes. So for total beginner. Yeah. Look, these are not going to make you, you're not going to make beautiful models with these six colors. Hold on. We missed something. The measuring stick. The floppy ruler. We missed it. So for total beginner, yep. <laughs> this is this is great, right? It sure it certainly is. You get you get the you know, you got you're on holiday somewhere, you go into the shop with your kid, say I wanna do Warhammer, you push the models together, you play some basic things, he has a go at painting them. I mean there's no primer in here. If you want to do a decent job of painting these models, <laughs> you need primer. Mm -hmm. You need to, and you need to glue them, even though they're push fit. Yeah. But it's not, it's not for that market it's at all. It's not for that market, no. It's for the total beginner, and for a total beginner, I think it's, I, I honestly think it's, mu it's much better. Yeah, definitely. Because I think if you're getting into this hobby and you're not planning to paint, I think you might be in the wrong hobby. <laughs> That's true. Were there not some clippers in there? No. Were there some clippers on the back of the box? Nope. That wasn't that wasn't mentioned. I think you got some some side cut clippers. Last you used time. to, yeah. Mm. But so, that was when it was a paint set. That you was had, when it was you a, had paint a painting set. and modeling set. Mm. And and then you had a you are starting yeah. your first game, and both of those things were in the twenty five to thirty pound bracket. Whereas this kind of does both. I don't remember exactly what it cost. We will put it on the screen now. Um, but yeah, I, I think for an introductory thing, I think it's the right mix of all the things. And you can take these things forward as you build your collection. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I'm very pleased with it. Hope you found this video useful. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye. If you're still here and you're looking for ways to support the channel, there's obviously a lot of ways down in the description. But a key way is to use our affiliate links to Whaling Games and others. You buy your models from them, it doesn't cost you a penny more, and we earn a little bit of commission. Thank you.